What's up guys? My name is Mo Adams and you are watching week two of Sunset Park. This week's theme is kind of depressing. It's death week and we're just going... I just burped. <laughs> this week's theme is death week. It's low-key kind of depressing, but I'm going to try to make it as positive as I can. And we're just going to be talking about um, times that we almost died. Pretty much. So here's my video about death and me almost dying. Let's begin. Actually, before we even begin, I almost died multiple times in my life. Like, it's not just like a one-time thing that I was like, oh, you're about to die. No, I was supposed to be dead like seven or eight times or like nine times. I'm a cat. I was supposed to be dead. I'm dead. All right, so the first time I had a near-death experience was my fourth birthday party. So I was actually supposed to die on my birthday. How great. All right, so my birthday party was hosted at my house. Family and friends came over. Um, we had great food, etc., etc. Great time. And then when it was time to cut the cake, I was nowhere to be found. Oh. Everyone at the party is like, where's Mo? Where's Mo? It's time to cut the cake. Where's Mo? So while everyone was searching for me, what I was doing was being completely butt naked and peeing into a pool. I, I thought it was a toilet. I was four. Don't blame me. And for whatever reason, I thought it was a smart idea to jump into the pool afterwards without any floaties and try to swim in the deep end. Safe to say, I didn't know sh about swimming and I almost drowned. I was screaming and splashing around and like literally drowning and suffocating until like I remember my brother jumping into the pool and then saving me. Yeah, I was supposed to be dead at four. Instance number two. The second time I had a near death experience was when I was around nine or 10 years old. My parents and I used to live in an apartment complex. And downstairs is directly where our garage is to park our car. It was snowing, we had a big snowstorm and the superintendent, which is like the guy that kind of like takes care of the place, shovels for you and et cetera, et cetera, um, was clearing out snow with a snow blowing machine. Wait, I like that. Super smart superintendent. Super smart superintendent. He's not super smart, he's super stupid. The superintendent left the snow blowing machine downstairs while it was still on and forgot to turn it off. And the snow blowing machine runs on gasoline and the waste of that is carbon monoxide, which traveled up to our apartment and made our whole apartment into a carbon monoxide bomb. My dad was getting ready to go to work and me and my mom started to feel really, really dizzy. 30 minutes later, I saw my mom passed out on the couch and I started to feel sleepy, so I went on the couch too. Um, and then out of nowhere, I literally just fainted. I pretty much was like this. I just broke my bed, bro. Turns out we weren't sleeping and we just fainted. And as I fell off the couch, I kind of hit my jaw, which kind of broke my teeth really badly. Luckily, my dad forgot something at the apartment, and when he came back, he saw both my mom and I fainted, um, and he didn't know what was going on. So he quickly called 911, got the ambulance to come take us to the nearest hospital. The doctor pretty much told my dad that if my dad left to work and he never came back, he would have found me and my mom dead um, in the apartment, which is really sad. So. The third time I almost died is kind of stupid. I was 14 years old and me and my friends were ding dong dishing because we had nothing else better to do in our lives. So we go up to this really sketchy house and I keep ding dong ditching it and this guy keeps answering the door and answering the door and I keep running away. So as I go to ding dong ditch his house for the fifth time, as soon as I reach the doorbell, the guy opens the door with a knife. <laughs> that wasn't the scariest part. The scariest part was that he was naked and old. His balls were like hanging, <laughs> his balls were like hanging so low and this guy is like threatening me with a knife. Meanwhile, my friends were screaming, get back, come, come, run. I couldn't even run. I was still staring at the guy's balls. I promise you they were at least like a foot like saggy long. He starts chasing me out of his property and starts to like low key try to stab me. I was over it. I, 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 was, I was so over it. Moral of the story is, don't go swimming when you're too young. Make sure you don't have carbon monoxide going into your house. And if an old man ever chases you naked, run. So I'm cutting off this week's video pretty short because, well, I'm exhausted and it is 6.43 in the morning and I need some sleep. If you guys want to talk to me, go ahead and follow my social medias right here. And I will talk to you guys and I'll follow you guys back and it'll be all great. Alright, I love you guys and until next week. Uh, what's a good outro? Stay in school. I'll just do my signature outro. Peace out, Habibi!